We gaan nu... Dit was uh, uh, veel lawaai. Nu gaan we naar de echte stilte. We gaan naar de stilte van Drexel, North Carolina. Collega's van jullie. Ja. Van barbershop. Uh, een prachtige documentaire met een Emmy-nominatie bekroond. Echt een grote, mooie documentaire over een heel klein zaakje. En achterin dat zaakje wordt op zaterdagmiddag muziek gemaakt. Ja. Oude mannen, gewoon een klein die dorpje. Man, die man uit die banjo is verteld. Maar weet je wat zo mooi is? Die oude man die niet zo oud is als die andere. Die, die ene die is 148. Ja. En, uh, maar hij is toch ook niet meer de jongen. Maar dat is nog gewoon een jonkie in de zaak. De kid. Ja. Zo praten ze ook ja. over hem. Ja. Hij werkt al 42 jaar. Ja. Ja. We gaan nou, kijken. Het zijn uh, Leen en Bert dus over 50 jaar. Denk Zoiets. Ik. Nou, ik denk over drie jaar hoor. Ja. I knew Lawrence before, but I officially met him. Uh, I had a friend working down here. And he was in the process of leaving. He was going to another town. And uh, we were talking, and Lawrence wanted me to come and, and help him a while till he found someone. He tells everybody now, he said, he said, he come here and went to work, and said, Lawrence said, I want you to help me find somebody. And he said, I've been here 42 years, and you ain't found nobody yet. <laughs> They're having, we have a Saturday jamboree back there. We have music in the back room every Saturday. Have bluegrass and have sometimes eight or ten, sometimes maybe 15 guys. There were about 15 back there a while ago. It had at least had six guitars at one time, six guitars and three mandolins. You don't need that many guitars. About two is enough. But, you know, when somebody comes in, you can't say, you know, you're playing a guitar, won't you just leave? <laughs> the chief police at uh, here at uh, Drexel, uh, uh, what was his name? Bill Lambert. Bill, Bill Lambert. Lambert. Yeah. He used to, I believe he kind of started things off here, didn't he? You he was the instigator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he uh, was an he instigator, played. I'll put it Yeah, that Bill one. played, he played the mandolin, you know. Mm -hmm. On a slow day, he left his mandolin here, and even on duty, he would kind of sneak down and play a song and be on the way. Well, it sort of got started like me, that. Me, me and him got started playing like that, and then Joe Patton, he come in and saw us playing, and he's living down here at, uh, Right there beside the J.B. Powell's in. Yeah. So Joe, he got his banjo and he'd come up a little bit and then just, you know, just kept escalating or whatever you want to call it. There's not many service stations and country stores about that you can go and relax and hang out like they used to. And to me, that's therapy. Somebody said, Herb, go get that man. I said, I don't hear you play, play me a tune. Herb said, you might hear one. He said, I got to get out of town. I got to go. He went and got his mandolin, that's 9.30. He went and got his mandolin. And you know what time he left here? 5.30 that evening. <laughs> had to go, just had to go. They had to go, he's gonna get out of town. Well, I don't know, I, I've thought about that a lot. I uh, should retire, I guess, and, but I ain't figured out how to do it yet. I need, uh, need to do something, but I don't know what to do, so I just keep coming up here working every day till I, Maybe I'll, maybe I'll come up with an answer one of these days, I hope. Uh, Gene, Raymond Eugene is Raymond his real Eugene name. Raymond Eugene Patton is his given name, but everyone knows him as Jojo. A lot of people want it the way it's practiced. Never happened with Joe. Every time it's played, it's different.
Heel klein plaatje in North Carolina, Drexel. Daar gebeurt oh, ook yeah. dit.